Welcome to another adventure with getting lost. Today we are back at Hapa Villa and we'll be exploring or I'll be telling you a story about one of the four classic folk tales from ancient China. And that folk tale is actually about the legend of the white snake. So stay tuned and I will tell you the story right after this. The legend of the white snake, also known as Madame White Snake, is actually a Chinese legend which existed in oral tradition long before any written compilation. But the earliest written form for the story was found in the Ming Dynasty. There are many different versions of the story and if you are more if you're interested in this, there are actually numerous uh, Chinese uh, operas films and even television series that actually cover this story. Our story actually is set during the Southern Song Dynasty in Hangzhou near the West Lake District. And here are the characters of the story itself and the bridge. This bridge is significant because this is called the Broken Bridge and this is where they first met. Okay. Our main character here is Su Xian and you notice he's actually holding an umbrella. Okay. Next is the lady in pink, which is our um, Madam White Snake or Pai Su Chen, who we will call uh, Lady White. And next one, the cycle is called Xiao Qing, which we call uh, Little Green. Okay. So these are the three main characters in our story. Okay, and so the story goes that Lady White and Little Green strolling along the banks of the famed West Lake because they have come to Hongzhou to actually sample the joys of the human world. Okay. So they went around and then they came to the broken bridge and at the broken bridge they noticed a, a young man and okay, just then it began to rain. They took shelter under a willow. The young man, whose name was Siu Xian, noticed their predicament. And then he told them the willow would not keep them dry. So let, uh, so he gave them his umbrella to use. So this was where it started. Siu Xian lent his umbrella to them so that they wouldn't get wet when they went home. And made an arrangement to meet them the next day. When he went to the house the next day, Lady White was actually pleased with his words and his manner. Almost before he knew it, Susian was standing next to Lady White in her bridal gown. They bowed to heaven and earth, to their ancestors and to each other, and then they were husband and wife. The newlyweds decided to move to the city of Zhenjiang and open a herbal shop of their own. The shop was a great success, for Lady White Snake could tell just what was wrong with a patient and just what compounds to prescribe. What's more, she showed great dedication in helping the sick, no matter how poor. The two, the two were supremely happy with their work and with each other, adding to their joy. Lady White Snake soon announced she was expecting a child. One day, when Lady White Snake had gone off to rest, an old Buddhist monk entered the shop and spoke to Su Xian. I am Fa Hai, the abbot of the Gold Mountain Temple, he said. I have come to warn you of a great danger. By my spiritual powers, I have discovered that your wife is a thousand-year-old snake. She hides her true nature, true nature from you now. But one day, she will surely turn on you and devour you. How dare you say that, said the young man. It's nothing but wicked slander. He rejected the monk's stories. One day, Su Xian decided to actually visit the temple to offer thanks to Buddha for his good fortune. 
the temple he went to was actually the Golden Mountain Temple. Once inside the Golden Mountain Temple, Su Sen was not allowed to leave. And meanwhile, Lady White, Lady White was anx waited anxiously for him without any news for three days. Then she and Little Green took their swords and rode a boat uh, to the temple to bring him back. But the monk Fahai was waiting for them at the mountain at the temple gate. They asked for Su Sen to be returned to them, but the monk refused. He told them, Demon, my duty is to protect unsuspecting humans from such as you. Then Lady White protested, I have harmed no one and helped many. Surely the demon is he who divides man from wife. For I, angry with that, caught down an army of heavenly warriors. While from the river below, Lady White and Little Green called up an army of water creatures, water animals. The two animals fought fiercely, and led by Lady White, her sight was winning. But at last, her pregnancy uh, was giving her problems, and it got worse. So her allies decided to protect her, and they retreated. Lady White and Little Green fled to Hongzhou and found themselves once more by the broken bridge. Uh, Su Xian, during the commotion at the temple, he heard the noise of battle and learned it was his wife that had come to save him. Determined to at last stand by her, he managed to escape and finally found them. During her battle, at the temple, when she called the sea creatures to help her fight the heavenly warriors, this actually created huge floods that unfortunately killed many people. United once more, the three stayed in Hangzhou with the sister of Su Xian, and Lady White gave birth to her baby boy. But the couple's happiness was not to last. Just one month after their baby's birth, on the day they were to present him to friends and relatives, the monk Fahai, he carried with him a magical golden bowl. And with that golden bowl, he was able to capture Lady White. Little Green tried to save uh, Lady White, but unfortunately, she was helpless to save her. Su Xian fled with from the monk Fahai and tried to free Lady White, but it was to no avail. Now at last he said, I see who is the real demon. Realizing there was no hope, Lady White said goodbye to her husband and to her baby and then told Fahai, Though you tear me from my husband's arm, you cannot stop our love. The monk Fahai then imprisoned Lady White under the Thunder Peaks Pagoda by the West Lake. There, the Keeper of Heavens sentenced her to imprisonment for the loss of thousands of innocent lives while rescuing her husband. Twenty years later, their son, Su Mingqiao, passed the Imperial Examination, an insanely difficult and competitive test that young Confucian scholars from wealthy families all over the, all over the country spent their whole life studying for. Returning home with the title of top scholar, Su Ming Jiao had achieved the highest level of success in the whole empire. He returned to his native Hangzhou to pay respects to his mother at the pagoda. He is seen here with the traditional flag bearers and musicians to help him as he prayed to reach heaven. True enough, the heavens was touched by his sincerity destroyed the pagoda and freed her. She ran forth to embrace her son with tears of joy streaming down her face. So the moral of the story is that due to the filial piety of her son, she was freed from the pagoda. So this is the story of the legend of the white snake. There are many different versions and if you look 
you can find it online there are also many TV series and also movies about this so if you like traditional Chinese folktales this is a very interesting one and also a very old folktale anyway I hope you enjoyed my first story from Hapa Villa and there will be a few more coming hope you enjoyed that too and if you like what you see here you know what to do please like share and subscribe and don't forget to join me for my next adventure bye bye